Hi there Algo Addicts and welcome to this video. There are times when you do not want to use the current version of the Fractrate bot. Whether it be that your strategy does not work because of deprecated functions, new functions that uh, are in the way of your workflow, or simply a big bug that you found and disturbs your money making machine. This time I am going to explain the ways I used to install previous versions of the Fractrat bot to solve these problems. Now, of course, you will not benefit anymore from the newest features and are stuck with that particular version. And it could be that other factors like the exchange you use will change API settings that will break the bot's workings. But if you do not mind and can live with the risks involved, then this is a sure way to run a previous version. And by the way, I do this on a Linux Mint virtual machine, uh, so if you want to use any other OS or distro and you experience problems, then please refer to the documentation of that particular platform for troubleshooting. If you usually install the Fractured bot with the help of the install script, then you normally clone the GitHub repo and choose the main repo for production environments. However, if you want to use an earlier version of the most current one, then I have a trick for you that you might not yet know about. Enter the cloned Fractrate directory and use the git tag command. A git tag is something like a marker that a developer uses to mark important versions of his or her software, like specific releases. And knowing all these tags now, you can revert to a previous point in history in the GitHub repo. For example, if I want to use the version 2023.7, then I will use the following command. This effectively sets you back in time uh, to that specific version of the bot. And now you can install and use the bot with the features from that version. Note though that now you have to be aware that there is a risk in using the bot in this state, because there is a chance that the repository resets itself to the main branch, uh, which is the current branch of course. I've not experienced this yet, but you never know. And to be absolutely sure that you want to prevent this, you could copy the contents of that directory to another bot directory, or delete or rename the .git repository directory. Now this will break the connection with the original GitHub, but since you are deliberately choose to use this option and know the risks involved now, there is no need for updates. After you have done this, uh, you can install the bot with a regular installation script. And after this is done, you can use the version switch to find out which version you installed. And from this moment on, you can use the bot with that specific version. Now, the second tip I have is for the Docker users among us. At this point, I assume you have Docker and Docker Compose already installed. And if you do not have this, then I have a super easy tutorial for you where I show you this within 10 minutes or so. So, if you want to use a previous docker image of that uh, Fractate version, do the following. First go to the docker hub site, and then search for the Fractate bot and open that page. Next to the overview tab, there is a tag tab, and click on that tab. In the search box, you can now enter the version you are looking for, and if you scroll a little bit down the page, there you find the tag 2023.7. Now you can click on that tag to open the page for more information. Above the page you will see the following description. And this is the image name you can use in the Docker Compose YML file. And now open that file in your favorite editor and edit the line that says image fractrate org fractrate uh, stable. Remove that stable part and enter 2023.7. And with other software you sometimes have to change the complete line, but here it's not necessary. 
Now I will also move some uh, commented outlines so that the file is more clean. And now it reflects the following. Save and close that file and run the following command. This pulls the 2023.7 image to your system. And after that docker image has been downloaded, you can now use the next command to check out the Fractrate docker image version. And from this moment on, your bot will use the 2023.7 version of the Fractrate bot. Now you can also combine this with a build of custom Fractrate images that contain non-default Python modules. In these cases, you should add the docker file that you created for the specific instruction for the build, and then use the specific Fractrate docker version. Like the example here. How to build a custom docker image is explained in my other video about this subject. And I hope that this short tutorial helps you a little bit with combining Fractrate versions and possibly also adding additional TA modules. Hopefully I explained this clear enough and that you can run your own preferred strategy on your system from this moment on. And if you like this content then please give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.